peace and love family on today's well let me say first welcome to my mindful garden my name is Atiba Shamali on today's journey in the garden in the food forest picked up um excited picked up four coconut trees today one for my brother Ro and I'm um, through your place down here and I gotta mend the other coconut trees palms pretty much like this, scrape away. This is a typical regular palm tree, right? But scrape the top soil away and then I'm in the soil. I learned a lot about coconuts today. So from I'm watching videos of folks in India and in Hawaii, Hawaii. So um, aloha and let's go on this journey. Almost forgot, also got ice cream bean, coconut trees and I got a, what do you think this is? How beautiful that is. Cacao. Pro mix with mycorrhiza. I'm gonna mix in some of this worm castings. Got some sea salt for the coconut. Lastly, some cow manure. Some um, jungle growth, cypress blend. Moss back there, peat moss and some cardboard because I got something else I gotta put together as well. Sheesh. All right, first we have to clear away, dig down a little bit, make sure we don't damage the roots. So with the um, coconut, I believe there's no necessary like tap root, like one main root. It's just um, a root ball. Plant them 25 feet apart is a good practice. That's not gonna happen here because <laughs> you're running out of room. What I'm gonna provide it is with the right atmosphere so that it'd be an ideal place for them to grow and create a relationship with these plants so that the mycorrhiza attaches to the roots, spreads out, it's communicating with all the other plants and so on. The, the tree itself will, through photosynthesis, create sugar, share that sugar with the mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza will feed it back water and nutrients. So yeah, and then these, I'm actually going to use this with planting the new coconut trees. Put up on barefoot business and soak up some of the energy of the ground, you know? Dug a, a decent sized circle. The root ball pretty much ends right around here. Dig a little trench going around. The food is not going to be taken up by these roots up right here, right? See, they're more hardened. It's going to be the ones further out um, extended. So I did it to this. And that one. Then I got some greens, some from the, the veggie garden that need to be pulled and Mexican sunflower. I was gonna grab some mango leaves as well, but I didn't bother. And some banana leaves. I figured let me leave that alone. Maybe next time. Let me try this first, gauge it. Then I got this food scraps. Yep. So I'm gonna add that to the mix as well. I'll show you before I add the mulch on top of it, what it looks like. All right, family, this is it. We've got uh, biomass from the veggies out of the greenhouse. We've got some Mexican sunflower that we cut up and put in there as well. Got some dried leaves. I didn't bother using those co the coconut husk. I'm gonna use that for the other ones in the plant. I'll probably get two in the ground. I'm not sure where I can plant them yet. They definitely need full sun. The last thing is to mulch, right? So this is before. Loving the air, mymindfulgarden.com. I hope um, you learned something in this video. If you go buy some coconut trees in Central Florida, go to Apopka, check Julie's Tropicals. Loving them. Visit the website, join the community. Peace.